Welcome back. So beginning the week, uh, Jim is actually working on um, continuing getting the lines done for the landing gear. Right now he's working on the hard lines that go um, between the pump unit and the little manifold there. So we've just got a, a few four of those to do. And um, the other ones go into the cabin for the dump valve. And meanwhile, Zach's uh, been trimming the first of the wing skins here. And so here you see he's just doing the final sanding on the trailing edge there. So those are uh, coming along, and that's the first of the upper uh, wing skins there. So uh, yeah, we're making good progress on the wing, wing skins now. So that's two of them that are down, and the first one being trimmed. And so the next one in line is the lower left hand uh, skin. So as you can see, the cores all cut for that, and Jeff's got it uh, marked out there. Just just um, pull the chalk line there so we know where all the lines are once he lays down the first layer of carbon fiber. And here Jim's a little bit further along there, so he's got the hard lines there, still waiting on a couple of proper fittings there for the pump. Uh, the ones we had were just mocked into place there. And a little bit of tidy up there just to sort of get those lines as neat as possible. And meanwhile, the rest of the guys are working on laying out these rib blanks so they can uh, create the molds for each of those. So they're just putting them on a melamine board, as we've done before, and gluing them down and a little bit of clay around the edge there so when they lay up the mold, it doesn't sort of um, soak in underneath the plug. And here you can see the layup is now ready to go for this um, left, left side lower wing skin. So the carbon's been put down there, just ready to wet down. And then obviously the core goes in on top of that and then uh, gets bagged again. And it'll be a two stage layup, the same as uh, what the other ones were last week. And here you've got Keith, uh, Devin, Jeremy, and Zach all working on getting these um, rib plugs done so they can lay the molds out. So there's 24 of those to go all together, and we just figured if everybody gets on it, it'll go fairly quickly. And Jim's next project was to um, finish the hard lines in the back there for the vents for the fuel tanks. So there's basically three different outlets there, left, right, and the header tank that all get joined together and then T through the uh, aft bulkhead. And uh, so Jeff got the uh, layup underway there for that wing skin. And um, see Jeremy and Zach sort of pulled off their other job there to help uh, wet down the core. Pieces, um, so they were, you know, they get a good p penetration of the resin and such. So they're wetting them, you know, with a mixture of um, of resin and uh, cabasil. And somebody had asked um, how thick the wing skin layers end up being after it's all laid up, and depending on which area, it's about 50 thou is the thickness of the carbon fiber, um, and that's you know the inner and outer layers combined together. And in the places there where the core is, you add another quarter of an inch. And meanwhile, I've been working on finishing off. I've got all the door locks dialed in now, so everything, all the door pins and stuff engaged nicely without locking up or anything. So moving on to getting the skin in place for the first door so we can start bonding all the different pieces together. And as you can see, it's coming along. And this is a look now. At least I'll try to show you the vent lines for the tank. So there's the two different T's. So the one there on the right comes up from the header tank and from the left and the right it's coming in from the, the wing straight tanks and then the one there on the left the blue T connector that you saw there that was actually going through the bulkhead to the rear and that's where our vent uh, tank is going to be out the back in the engine compartment there that, that's the one you can see that one goes through the bulkhead there and this other one basically transitions across to the other side of the um, back compartment there and then it runs out to the straight tank there it's a bit difficult to see but there you can see the T in the background there and now the guys are just in the process of pulling the vacuum on this layup and as you can see it just slowly draws down there and uh, you see where all the core and everything is there so that's uh, the third one down or at least the first stage of the third wing skin down uh, tomorrow that one will get um, peeled back and then the last layer put down on it and uh, vacuumed once more and then it will be finished and ready for trimming. And the fittings that Jim was waiting on arrived so you can see now he's hooked up the um, the lines there for the front cylinder as well. So basically all of the external uh, lines now for the gear retraction are done. We just have to put the dump valve connection in the cabin and that will probably end up happening uh, tomorrow. 
And here you can see the guys are making good progress with getting all these uh, plugs all ready to do the layups with some of them there with the um, rubber profile already glued down around them. So it won't be too long and they'll have all those dialed in and, they, and they've already been uh, cutting fabric and that. So I wouldn't be surprised if actually tomorrow they start laying up some of those. If not, it'll be uh, the next day. So it won't be long and we'll get those molds all done. And the fuel flow sensors that I've ordered for the engine have arrived and now I just have to uh, find some time to go and set those up on the engine stand. So one for the outlet and one for the return and then obviously have to wire them into the ECU. And finally my next job is to uh, take this door off, the first one, and now that I've got the skin sort of clicked into place there, um, start basically getting everything ready to bond the skin and the windows and such into place. But you'll see uh, more about that um, in the next uh, episode. So tune in again on Saturday and see what we're all getting up to. Thanks again for watching.